me to do this thin thread. So now, Bernina gives you a couching guide, and there's a couple different guides depending on which machine you use. So this one just clips on the edge of the machine here. Um, and what I'm gonna do, clips on very well when you don't have a bunch of people watching you. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my yarn and just go behind like this and through this hole. I'm gonna teach you a pro tip. When you have a threader, you put it on blue tape, and that way you don't keep dropping it on the floor and losing it. The second thing I did was I bent this threader. So the Bernina foot takes the thread, the yarn, and goes from the side and then changes an angle. But they give you a straight threader. So what would happen was when I tried to get it in, I would go, I would go in the side and it would keep going, right? Well, that's no good. So I put a bend in it and then when I got it there, I was able to then get it to go straight down. And the reason I did that is when you look at uh, the way Bernina tells you to do it, they want you to thread the yarn off the foot you take the foot off the machine to thread the yarn. I find that then you get all this yarn, it gets all over the place, so I get the threader in there. I drop the yarn in the, the big fat hole, and I pull, and then I'm done, and everything's the right space already. So I set this machine up for free motion, which means I drop the feed dogs. Okay, on the Bernina, all you do is drop the feed dogs, and then lower the foot. And the Bernina has a hopping action as the machine stitches, so it's gonna hold the fabric down and then come up. So even though this looks high, as you stitch, it comes lower. I wanted to do something kind of fall-like, so I got a black background and I drew uh, a little leaf on there. So I'm gonna slide my free motion under here like this. And since I have room, I'm gonna take this, because it's a small piece, I'm gonna put it off to the side. If you go too fast, you're gonna get long stitches. If you go too slow, you're gonna get short stitches. The solution for that is a stitch regulator, which Brina makes, but you can't use the stitch regulator with this foot. But if you have the um, Q series, the sit down quilter, the stitch regulator from Brina is, is built in underneath. So you can use the stitch regulator and the decorative feet at the same time. So if you do a lot of free motion, that's a great um, advantage to having that machine. Plus it has more room, so it's easier to work. But working with a regular machine without stitch regulation, I don't really care too much because the stitches get buried in the couching. Just gonna get started again. At a nice medium speed. I kind of just follow my line. Now remember that line is chalk. So if I miss the line a little bit, the chalk line's gonna go away. So no one's gonna know I missed the line. It's free motion. Just relax. Don't worry about it. I try not to cut the thread, the, the yarn that's coming in. I should have done that earlier. Um, so now I'm just gonna follow my, my path and do my little leaves. If you notice, this is a guy who has no artistic talent at all, but because of the, the couch, it kind of covers up mistakes and makes it easy. Um, I'm going to raise the foot and pull that out just a little bit and cut my yarn. And there's my um, my leaf. And so you could take, like Diane had purchased something and then embellished it. You can do that, but you can also take a, a quilt stencil you have and just chalk it onto a piece of fabric. So you don't have to really have any artistic ability. You just have to have a little bit of thinking of what can you do? What do you have that'll work? So I set this serpentine stitch up again. Um, where I am, I was in the quilting stitches. Um, I was in two, quilting category 2.2, okay? On this machine, I do have my IDT um, on because it's, it's allowing me to use the IDT. I threw in a couching foot because I'm only using one thread today, okay? So that's, um, that's what's on the machine here is the couching foot. Okay, so if you see the couching foot here, it has this little wire piece in the front. So we want to go through that front piece here. See how I'm going through? And then you want to get through the hole of the foot as well. Now these holes were big enough that I can actually get through. So does everybody see I'm through this, the opening of the foot first, and then I went in underneath, and now I'm underneath the foot, okay? So all I'm gonna do is grab my little, well, I'll do this first one, okay? So I'm gonna start on the top. I'm gonna drop my um, foot. So all I'm gonna do is just gonna make sure that I'm underneath the, and I'm wide enough, 
all I want to do is just, it's just embellishing. Going back and forth, I'm using the IDT, okay? Let's just get to the end and then I'll cut it. Now, what I like to do is when I cut the thread here, I like to pull from behind. Why am I doing that? Because I want to start another row, right? So if I pull from the front, everything's going to come out, okay? So, can everybody see? I went right down the middle. Yeah. See that? Sparky bark. Almost looks like bark, right? So if anybody got the Solaris um, and may have gotten the upgraded um, version of this, um, you've got a couple of parts that came in with the box, okay? Um, there are two guides. One is on the second Solaris that we have sup set up, and this is our second one. Notice the EC on this guide. That's for embroidery couching, okay? So if you're going to embroider, this is the one that you want to put on the machine, okay? And that guide will go to the left of the machine, okay? In the box, you also got the new foot for couching, okay? So now I'm going to put this one on to the machine, and I just want to show you something, okay? This um, foot has a screw, and if you notice, and I don't know if somebody wants to come a little closer, but the needle is to the right of the foot. It's not totally in the center. If it's not in the center of the foot, it's going to miss some of your stitches, okay? So I have the little um, screwdriver, and all I'm going to do is, un is just move that the, the screw or the needle or the foot, however you want to say this, that the needle is in the center of the foot. Can everybody see that now? Okay. So depending on, you know, I didn't bring my glass. Yep. Yeah, but I'm in the center of the foot now. Yeah, okay? okay. So if I drop the needle, see, I'm in the center. Okay. Yep. When I had it before, it, or when I set it up, it was just to the left. Okay. <laughs> so you do want to make sure that everything is tightened. Okay. As far as putting the um, thread, uh, the uh, the yarn on, this is a medium weight uh, yarn that they recommend. Okay. So you want to put the thread stand on, but you want it to the lowest setting, okay? Not high, they want it low, okay? So you're going to put this through the thread stand. You're going to come to the right side, okay? And then you're going to hook it to the back of, so there's two spots on, on that guide, okay? Mm -hmm. Now to catch it on the foot, okay, you, so I went in front of the foot and I just wrapped it to the, to the back. See how I did that? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, now we get in your box, you got this little metal guide. Okay, now I gotta do is get the the yarn through that the the bottom of the foot. Got that through that the the little guide. Now I'm gonna go to the bottom of the foot here. Just need to get it into into the um, into the foot. Okay? On your machine, you're gonna go into embroidery and you're there's once you do the up braid to the machine, you're going to, this little window pops, or this new um, uh, set of designs pop up, meaning C for couching. So we're going to go into there, and the design I want to do is this little flower down here, okay, and we're going to hit set, okay? Now me, I always like, never can go with what is there. I like to make it a little bigger, so I'm just going to resize it, which is automatic here. So I'm going to make it just a little tad bit bigger, okay? You know me, because I would go cheeky with C. Okay, so I'm gonna make it that big, okay? And go into embroidery. Just so you know, because I picked a couching foot, it told me up here what foot to put in, okay, and that the couching is up. When you're in couching, the basting stitch does not, um, is not active. You can't baste anything down, okay? So if I go into layout, notice there's no basting here, okay? So now I'm using a metal hoop. All I'm gonna do is hit the start button, okay? And it's gonna, do its magic there. What I like to do is it's gonna stitch a couple of stitches and as it goes along, I'm just gonna grab that and cut that tail off because it's gonna come back to exactly to the same spot. What do you think so far? I think it's great. Cool, it's cool. Great, yeah. Do I have to use a metal hoop or can I just No, use any hoop will work. As long as it's in the Yes, any hoop will work. Yes. Okay? Well, thank you very much for watching our video on how to couch. We're going to help everybody learn all the new techniques, and we look forward to seeing you in the store. In the future, we'll do more of these. Come in so you can see everything live and see how it all works. Thank you.